Uh, good morning. Last Sunday before 2021. Amen? Amen. Yes. All events are determined by God. So right now, whatever situation you are in, whatever event you find yourself in, whatever is kind of opposing you, it has been determined by God. It can only go away by prayer. Offer prayer. Thank you, Lord. Offer prayer. You know that thing. It could be sickness. It could be poverty. It could be disappointment. It could be calamity. It could be limitation. It could be fear. It could be that you are feeling, feeling lost. You are angry over something. That thing was determined by God to draw you closer to him. Prayer. Prayer. Don't fear. It's not something that will destroy you. Call it by name. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. We have prayed. We may take our seats, please. We shall do a lot of praying because that's the area we neglect. We, we think complaining is praying. No. A lot of times when you complain, you do nothing more than that. You have complained. But if you give that to prayer, for example, right now, in your heart, you are feeling uneasy. In your heart, there's restlessness. In your heart, you are feeling fearful. About what? In your heart, you are feeling lost. You are feeling empty. You are saying, is this all there is in life? In your life, you could be struggling how to plan. Just planning. What should I do next, Lord? And that's a struggle. But if you offer prayer, that uneasiness is for you to pray. When you truly believe, you will no longer worry. When you what? Truly believe. You will? No longer worry. Why no worry? Because you leave everything into God's hands. It's no longer your problem now. Me, I've surrendered this to God. That's all. Why surrender to God and you are also worrying? When you truly believe you will no longer worry because you know it's in whose hands? God's hands. Build your faith in God who can't fail you.
and to build faith in God, the easiest way to do it. Have a heart that concerns for others. When your heart, you have concern for others, you will forget your own worries. <laughs> I can't hear you. Amen. Yes? When your heart has concerns for others, you will forget your own worries. Yes. If you are always concerned about yourself, that means in your heart, you got no concern for others. How is that one doing? How is the family there? How are the children there? Are they coping up this time? There is this what and what. How many responsibilities has she got? Then you pray for such a one. You pray for that one. You pray for that one. When you receive more, you continue praying. You don't even know that you got worries yourself. Never. That's the easiest way. Why are we finding difficulty? It is because of your ignorance and your old habits are making your life difficulty. Ignorance and your old habits are making your life difficulty. You got uh, young youngsters growing up in your house. They are not yet adult, but they feel they are adult and responsible enough. So you sit down to say, no, hold on. You are not yet there. It's not that I don't want you to have all this, but if you insist, this that you want now will destroy you now, so you won't have that. Now, because of this, I'm being stopped. I don't have freedom. You are making your own life difficulty, of which it shouldn't be. What you are praying for, for example, it has got nothing to do with God's glory. But every day, bobo, bobo, bobo. God says, This will destroy you. It is not for you to ask for this. And then you are sad. God doesn't answer me. And please, these are just to open the door as we start praying. Don't take revenge for any bad that was done to you. <laughs> that will open a door. Yes, please. Don't take revenge for any bad that was done to you. Any bad. Most of you business people, you trusted somebody, you gave and they never brought. I want this done. They agree. We can do, we can do. You go ahead, they don't do. This is bad. But please, never take revenge. God is watching and seeing your heart. Forgive all people who caused harm to you. I can't hear you people. <laughs> These are principles. Have a heart like that of Jesus. He never took offense of anyone. Like our Father in heaven. 
He doesn't hold anything bad about anyone. Nothing. Forgive all people who caused harm to you. You know this person has harmed me. This person has done this. And you know that you can destroy this one one minute. This one. You can destroy them forever. Choose to forgive. The harm is there. Choose to forgive. Then you see what next year will, will bring. Just choose to forgive. I don't say it's easy. I'm not lying to you. It's not. Because the harm done leaves a scar. I can't hear you. It leaves a scar in your heart, in your mind. And this cannot just go like that. But these are areas to pray about. I've forgiven, but I want total freedom now. I have forgiven, but I want total freedom from this harm. Amen? Amen? Yes. I want freedom, dear Lord, my Father. You know I've forgiven, but I desire now, please, freedom in this area. That's why you are continuously carrying hurt because somebody hurt you or did something bad to you and they ask you, forgive me, and you forgive. No, 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 that was too quick. You tell them, yes, I've heard you that I will forgive you, but give me to process it. Because come next week. So in the week, you are going through the pain. You are in and out. In and by ne as the come the appointed time, you say, yes, now I am ready to forgive you. Have you seen? Not this one, you say quick, quick. You don't. That's why when you say, I forgive an apostle. But when you go that side, ah, that man is still here. Huh? You know what that man did to me? You have been forgiven. It should come out. It should only leave a scar, but it's no longer a wound. Are we together? Yes. A lot of our failures, Satan is far from them. It's just you. Tell your neighbor. A lot of our failures, Satan is far from them. It's just me. God is full of compassion. And because of that compassion today, you are receiving grace upon grace. Amen. The accusations against you are all canceled. Amen. Even those hired false witnesses all those hired witnesses, they are all cancelled in Jesus' name. Stand up, stand up and thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All accusations and all hired witnesses, they are cancelled. They will never work. Offer prayer. Enjoy that freedom. Enjoy the freedom.
Enjoy that freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has accepted you. Amen. Offer prayer. Thank you, Lord. God accepting you. Prayer, prayer, prayer. God has accepted you. Don't bother who don't accept you. That's not your problem. If your father has accepted you, that's the key. <laughs> Hallelujah. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. We have prayed. Amen. Please now pray. Stopping, thinking on the level of your past. Ask God, please Lord, help me to stop thinking on the level of my past. Because that's the most difficult thing. You are bringing history to the present. So you don't have the present. Because the present is of the past. So you are not having a future. Offer prayer. Please, Lord, help me to stop thinking on the level of the prayer. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, really, you've got to be honest and open up your heart to God. Refuse all the failures of the past. All the disappointments of the past. All the sicknesses, because many of the sicknesses we take reference from the past. You say, this, I used to have it, then it's the same. It's not. Refuse all sicknesses, what? The, all failures of what? The past. All hurts of the? Past. Anything that does not bring peace and joy of the past, refuse it. One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Prayer. Prayer. Mention them. This, it hurt me. This failure. This sickness. Mention it by name. Mention it by name. All your past failures, it could be academic, it could be business plans, it could be business operational problem, it could be a certain standard that you want. It did not go well in the past. Refuse it now. Cut it off. Prayer. Hallelujah. Refuse that sickness. It will go. Refuse it. it. Remember always, you are a child of God. You are a child of God. Refuse that sickness. Refuse disappointments. Refuse the calamities that have befallen your family. Oh, man of calamities. Confusion, division, fighting, lack of unity, prayer. 
Hallelujah. Offer prayer. Offer prayer. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Refuse the spirit of limitation. Refuse it. I can't see you pray because I can't hear you. Prayer. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. We have prayed. Now, some of you don't believe that your prayer will come to pass. It's wrong. Look at David and Goliath. You remember? David and? David had no experience. David did not have the weapons to eco Goliath. This is your case right now. You and your giant. You got no experience. You got no weapons. You are going to defeat. Go after that giant of your life. Prayer. You got God on your side. You got God on your side. Slaughter. That giant. Yes, I may not have experience. Yes, I might not have weapons to kill. Yes, to conquer. But I am coming after you. God is with me. I will not sit idle and be tormented. I am doing something now. I will make progress in all areas of my life. I will make progress in all areas of my life. Prayer. Take that giant out. That's the giant that has been intimidating you. That's the giant that has blocked your future. Yes, prayer. Giant of fear. Giant of memory. Giant of the past failures. Giant of fear of man. Giant of all kinds. It may not work. It may not Prayer, kill, go after that giant. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. We have prayed. All right, all of us here. We are, even those, by the way, listening by television, we might, we are all in some circumstances. But these circumstances should not take you wherever they want you to go. No. Ephesians 4, 14. Don't allow circumstances to control you. No. They are there, yes. But don't be tossed around because of them. Yes, please. Ephesians 4, 14, that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine mm -hmm. by the trickery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting. Yes. You are no longer children. a child now. So refuse to be tossed to and from you are facing the right direction right now Amen. that's why you are having this opposition if you are not facing the right direction 
Who should oppose you and why? When you are wrong, they let you go. But because you are facing the right direction, there is opposition. Second Kings seven three. Second Kings seven three. Now there were four lepers, leprous men, at the entrance of the gate, and they said to one another, "Why are we sitting here until we die?" That's it. Why are we complaining? Oh, this, oh, this, oh, this. do something. Amen. Hello. Amen. If these leprosy people do not decide to go into the city, they are going to die with hunger. There was famine. There was drought. They are busy discussing their difficulties. Second Kings seven four, Second Kings seven four to five NIV. Yes, please. May I have this? Give her this one there. You can't find it. NIV, we can't find NIV. Second King 745. We've got King James. Oh, okay. You love the King of England. Thank you. Continue. Read him. Second Kings 7, 4 to 5. If we say we will enter the city, the famine is in the city, mm -hmm. and we shall die there. Mm -hmm. And if we sit here, we die also. Now, therefore, come, let us surrender to the army of the Syrians. If they keep us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall only die. And they rose at twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. And when they came come to the outskirts of the Syrian camp, to their surprise, no one was there. What you are fearing is not there. Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. They were fearing, here, the mother, they were fearing that there is this problem you right now, you are fearing, I've got this problem, I've got this problem, and you are not rising up to face it. When you rise up to face it, you find that there's no problem. Amen. So you're just having this thing. There's no problem at all. Because you have done nothing apart from discussing the problem that you think is there. Today, rise up against all the odds against you. Just rise up. It rise against all the odds. When you look, everything seems to be against you. When you see it as if there's nothing you can do, all you need to do is to rise up. Amen. The results come when you decide to quit sitting down. The results come when you quit sitting down. Do something. It's when the results come. You have to step out of your comfort zone. You are used to doing things the way they have been, but look, 2020 is a year that the world changed. Pray now that I know that God 
will move on my behalf. Amen. Concerning these situations, one, two, three. Prayer. God will move on behalf of my situation. This situation, God will move on my behalf. This sickness, God will move on my behalf. This area, God will move on my behalf. Prayer. God will move on your behalf. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. God will turn your situation around within 24 hours. Prayer. What is it? Hello? God will turn your situation around within 24 hours. Prayer, prayer, thank him. Prayer, prayer, prayer. There's nothing impossible with God. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No matter how bad your situation seems, God will do something. God will do something. Hallelujah. Your time of mourning and complaining is over. It's over. It has come to an end. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him with all your heart. Thank him with song. Thank him with your dancing. You got your own unique dance. It's over. Thank him. Don't be saddened by anything. God is your father. Show him how you love him, how grateful you are. Thank him with song, your own song, your childhood song, the dance that you know. Lift up your voices and just thank him. Hallelujah. Continue. Continue. Relax in your father's presence. Time of mourning, worrying, complaining is over. Know who you are in God. You are not doubt. You are not a child anymore. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. We have prayed. Amen. I declare abundance. 
where there was nothing before. I declare abundance where there was nothing before. Look at the apostles who were fishing the whole night in the Sea of Galilee. In the sea, the whole night they caught nothing. The same sea, when Christ declared it, it bore great fruit. Same with you now. Where there was no fruit, there is abundance. You shall have abundance. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Hallelujah. Show your great pleasure for what God has done. There is abundance. I can't hear you. Abundance of health, abundance of wealth, abundance of peace, abundance in every area of your life. Hallelujah. You didn't hear me. Abundance of peace, abundance of health, abundance of wealth, abundance in every area of your life. Every area. Shout for joy this morning. Louder, louder, louder. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. There's one abundance that God wants you to declare now. Salvation for your families. Salvation for your families. God is saying, ask of me today. And salvation will enter your family. Salvation will enter your friends. Salvation will enter where you thought it's impossible. Mention your friends, your family, everyone. Prayer. Salvation. Abundance of salvation. It's abundance of salvation. As long as they're breathing, salvation will reach them. Genuine salvation will reach them. They will move away from religion. They will enter salvation. Their minds will be clear. Whatever was binding them will fall away. Salvation. Your children will come back to the Lord. You shall save the Lord together as a family. Hallelujah. Time is now. Time is now. Remove doubt. Remove any form of doubt. Thank you, Lord. Remove any form of doubt. Salvation. Salvation for your family. For your family. In 
in Jesus Christ's mighty name we are prayed. This is a, an exciting one. God will bless your family members on their coming birthdays. Rejoice on their coming birthdays. It will be a birthday with a surprise. How many believe? Only believe. That's all. Only believe. Like a child. On the coming birthday of my son, of my daughter, of my mother, of my uncle, of my papa. Salvation. 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 Sing a song for them as they are coming to the kingdom. In your local language. To show gratitude to God for what he has done, what he's doing, and what he's about to do. Amen. Sing. Just sing. He knows every language. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. We have prayed. Thank you, Lord. The church is failing to move in power and to grow because the people called into business, they are always under attack. Yes. We are all called in different areas of life. We have prayed for the ministers of the word. We have prayed for expansion. We have prayed for what? But for this to move, God has got to, ab to bless abundance to businessmen, businesswomen. Because these are the ones who, who kind of give oil. We can have all the plans, but that plan to move it needs resources. So right now when I pray for our business people, the five Ps, protection, God's purpose in their life to be fulfilled, no matter the opposition, they will have courage and power to overcome. God to give them strategic thinking to always outwit the enemy. Always to be above the thoughts of the enemy. Strategic. They will always be conquering. And with that calling, they will impact the world. Amen. When I pray for them specifically now, and if you know you're according to business, just say, Lord, here I am, send me. One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Prayer. Some of the business people, you know them, mention them by name, that they will have abundance to give, to bless, and to impact the world with their wealth. Prayer. Please, Lord. Bless them. Those who are in small business, to grow into medium business. Those medium business, to grow into big business. Those in big business to be corporate business. Prayer.
Prayer, people, prayer. Satan works very, very hard in the area of the economy. So we really need serious prayer to be offered. Business people not to collapse. Businesses not to die. They will be employers. The economy to rise up. And he uses businessmen and women. Prayer. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Yes. Now I want to pray for our politicians. When our politicians make wrong decisions, the whole country suffers. Let us pray for the president. We pray for the ministers. We pray for the managers of corporations. Chief executives. Company owners, there are people here who own companies. Let's pray for company owners. That they, they are not going to be de defeated with the certain current circumstances. Pray for hospital staff, doctors and nurses, and all those who work in those places. Pray for military officers, board members, police officers, council members, those who go in our councils, mayors, members of parliament, and anyone in authority to follow God's will. Anyone. Prayer. Choose any one of those and you pray. Wherever God has led you to say, President, Cabinet minister, company owner, board member, prayer. Pray for wisdom, strategic thinking, power to overcome. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. We have prayed. Finally, is the final topic, not that we are finished. This is the final topic now. Say to yourself slowly, I can do. I can do. Anything. Anything. That is not impossible. That is not impossible. For me to do. For me to do. Say that again. I can do. I can do anything. Anything. That is not. That is not impossible. Impossible. For me to do. For me to do. Say it again. I can't hear you. I can do anything that is not impossible for me to do. Again. I can do anything 
That is not impossible for me to do. If you have this, this is your guiding motto into your life. Amen. As long as it's not impossible for you to do, you do it. Amen. But a lot of times, we don't even try. We just say it's impossible. It's impossible. No, no, no. This is not impossible. When we are born, no one was born with skills. You are born with gifts only that were in you. Skills you learn. Skills, it's you who say this is difficult for me. Believe in yourself from today Amen. that you are going to accomplish many goals in your life. Amen. Speak to yourself now. Louder, it's you. To accomplish these goals, you have to believe in yourself. Speak again, speak again. You are tired in prayer, can you see? In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Repeat after me. The goals. The goals that I believed. That I believed. Or I considered. Or I considered. Impossible. Impossible. Are now possible. Are now possible. Because I believe. Because I believe in myself. In myself. That I'm going to accomplish. That I'm going to accomplish many goals. Many goals. In my life. In my life. You are going to. Fear must stop now operating in your life. Amen. Prayer. Fear should not stop you from achieving. Fear must not stop you from achieving. Let me tell you about fear. A moment, please. About fear. There's no new fear. No, there's no new fear. Any fear that you had before this very moment is a fear that you had in the past. There's no new fear. Zach's. Tell your neighbor there's no new fear. There is no new fear. Uh -huh. What do you hear? What do you understand by that? Thank, thank you, Father. It's, yes. It's so liberating, Dad. Yes. There, there's nothing new. There's no new fear. Fear, the fear that you have now, what and what? It's not new. It's from the past. It's from the past. You are just manifesting the fear you had in the past. The good thing about the past that it is over. Amen. Fear included. Amen. The fear of the past is what? Over. Don't tell me I'm fearing dog. I'm fearing monkey. I'm fearing the, it's all of the past. Prayer. Prayer. Hallelujah. Prayer. It's past. It's past. 
fear of dying young, fear of diseases, fear of not succeeding, fear of what? It's of the past. And it's over. Right now you are in the present. You are not in the past. You are in the present. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. All right. Repeat after me. I am going to do. I am going to do. What I need to do. What I need to do. To reach the goals I desire. To reach the goals I desire. I'm going to do. I am going to do. What I need to do. What I need to do. To reach the goals. To reach the goals. That I desire. That I desire. Prayer. You are going to do. Yes. Tell them, tell them. I am going to do what I need to do to reach the goals that I desire. Again and again. I am going to do what I need to do to reach the goals that I desire. You have got goals that you desire. Go for it. Prayer. Remove fear from those goals. How do others reach? You will reach too. Prayer. <laughs> you know what you are going to do to reach your goals that you desire. You know. Remove fear. It's not there. It cannot kill you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen are feeling free now. All right. You are going to do? What I need to do mm -hmm. to reach the goals that I desire. That's it. The goals that you desire. Now, I can do. I can do. Anything. Anything. That is not impossible. That is not impossible. For me to do. For me to do. I can do. I can do anything. Anything that is not impossible. That is not impossible for me to do. For me to do. To read there, listen. Oh, you, all of us, we have had setback before. Hello. So now you are now. Thank God. I know how to work my way through setbacks. I can't hear you. I know how to work my, my way, way through setbacks. Prayer. Yes, affirm it. You know how to work your way through setbacks. Continue. How to work your way through setbacks. Setbacks should not make you settle down. No. You know, you know how to work your way through setbacks. <laughs> In Jesus' name we have prayed. And pray again. I have short-term and long-term goals. Short-term and long-term goals. Prayer that they'll be embedded in you. Prayer in my life. I have short-term and long-term goals. This could be in business. This could be individual life. What are your short-term goals? What are your long-term goals? To be international name. Continue. Pray. Everything big starts small. Short term and long term goals. I have those.
Prayer. Prayer. And you know your short-term goal. You can picture it. And you know your long-term goal. You can picture it. So pray. This is a short-term. That is a long-term. Offer prayer. In Jesus Christ's name, we have all prayed. Amen. We have all prayed. Amen. Now hear this, and you have to move and rejoice. Amen. When you can hear it with the Spirit of God. Even when life isn't fair, I know how to make the best of the situation. Repeat after me. Even when life, even when life isn't fair, isn't fair. I know, I know how to make, how to make the best, the best of the situation, of the situation. Prayer. You are going to make the best at that situation. You know that life isn't fair. So just make the best out of that situation. It could be financial situation. It could be marital situation. It could be business, finance, health. Make the best out of that situation. Don't worry. Don't worry. God is in that situation. God is in that situation. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Hello. How are you feeling? Huh? I can't hear you. You are just showing hands like this. Apostle. I'm feeling huge. Huge. I'm feeling healed, prophet. Uh -huh. You are a true prophet. This oh. morning when I came in here, I had a quarrel with one of the uh, ushers. And I called Pastor Togo to come and intervene. She just said to me, Apostle, just forgive. Yes. I was so hurt because the lady shouted at me. I said, I can't believe this. But now you said when you come in there, everything, you know, the first statement that you, you mentioned, mm -hmm. you healed me. Amen. Everything happened for a purpose. Yes. You know? I was so healed. <laughs> Togo can attest to this. Pastor Togo, you know, it's not it everyone who is in church who is a yeah. Christian. It can be Asha. It can be uh, whatever department. Yeah. That is just department. It is not salvation. And these people, they come from their homes. Exactly. They got issue at home. Now when they look at you, you are the target for issue. <laughs> forgive them all. Tell them Amen. Amen. <laughs> just forgive. I really forgive. Just forgive. If... if if my heart could be like you, I wasn't going to be here. Absolutely true, uh, Okay, You're right. thank you. Thank I'm you. Here. Thank you. All right. And someone without complaint? Yes, you? <laughs> yes. 
Don't start now with my security. Um, I, I thank you, Baba, for your grace and mercy upon my life. Uh, I'm happy, Father. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank because you. that's what God wants you to be always. Joy. Joy comes from the Lord. All right. Okay, on what the apostle said. Me, in, this is the motto I live with. Copy it today. I believe that everyone has challenges in life. Ah. Now, walk around. When you look at some people, say, ah, this one is free. Ah, this one is free. This one has got everything together. This one. Just walk around. I believe that everyone has challenges in life. So I should be free. Prayer. Louder. I believe that everyone has challenges in his life. I believe so. It could be a president, it could be a company owner, it could be housewife, it could be anyone. We all have challenges in life. So when somebody answer you this way, that way, just know, my daughter has got challenge. My sister has got challenge in life. This man has got challenge. That's why he's doing this to me. That's all. Amen. Amen. Repeat after me. When I experience failure. When I experience failure. I realize. I realize. That it doesn't define me. That it doesn't define me. Prayer. I realize. Realize today that failure does not define you. Failure does not define you. Failure does not define you. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. I realize I realize that many times that many times a no a no has a positive purpose has a positive purpose of leading me of leading me to a better choice to a better choice Again please I realize that many times a no has a positive purpose of leading me to a better choice. What no have you received? It's leading you to a better choice. That no you received. It could be company employment. It could be love relationship. That no is leading you to a better choice. So why do you bother? Tell your neighbor, why do you bother? Why do you bother? This no. This no. That is on you. That is on you. Is leading you. Is leading you. To a better choice. To a better choice. I don't let I don't let worries worries difficulties difficulties problems problems in a plan in a plan prevent me prevent me from getting started from getting started A lot of us you find difficulty you find problem in your plan 
And because of that, you don't get started. While you're planning, there'll be what? Difficulties and problems. Yes, they'll be there. How this, how this. But these difficulties and challenge should not prevent you from getting started. Start. Start. Amen. These things will disappear as you go along. When plan A doesn't work, say it. When plan A doesn't work, as I hoped, as I hoped, I learn from the mistakes and move on. I learn from the mistakes and move on. These are principles of life. When plan A doesn't work out, as I hoped, I learn from the mistakes of plan A and move on. I don't stop. Number nine, I don't know what number you have. I don't allow negativity of people to stop me. That's where a lot of us are. Negativity of people has stopped you. Today now, pray. Those negativity of people, from now, they will not stop me. In Jesus' name, prayer. All those negativity of people. Hallelujah. <laughs> those negativity. Ah, not you. Ah, no. Ah, ah. The muscles stop you. Continue going. Continue going. After that negative barrier, you find blessing. You find blessings. Continue. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Now to capital, because you are going to start and you are going to succeed. Amen. Say to yourself, walking the way you feel like walking. I have leadership and management qualities. Prayer. Again. I have leadership and management qualities. I will succeed. I will succeed. Again. I have leadership and management qualities. I will succeed. Continue. I have leadership and management qualities. I will succeed. Yes. So you go and start something in 2021. One but one left. I defeat the opposition with facts. I can't hear you. I defeat the opposition with facts. Speak again and again. I defeat the opposition with facts. The opposition with facts. I defeat the opposition with facts. Don't worry. When people are opposing you, what and what, no. Bring out facts. Say nothing. Mm. Say nothing. These are facts. Facts will speak for me. Amen. Even you from today, your facts will speak for you. Amen. Your facts will speak for you. Amen. 
And this is a, I just want to say, I'll see you next year. And um, please, from now to next year, most problems never materialize. I can't hear you. Say it again. Most problems never materialize. Again. Most problems never materialize. Cheer yourself now. That's all. <laughs> Cheer yourself. Continue, continue. All right. We thank God. You know someone who's sick in hospital. Time for healing is now. Offer prayer. Time for healing. They will receive their healing. They will move out of their sick bed. Mention their name any country they are in, that person in that sickbed, rise up and walk. Holy Spirit, touch them from the crown of their heads to their toes. Touch them. Complete healing. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, that the hour of healing is now. Offer prayer. The hour of healing. Hour of healing. Hour of healing. Heal them all. In their houses, in their sick bed, in hospital, wherever they might be, on the road, traveling, in the plains, wherever they might be, our healing is now over that person, over that man, over that woman, over that child, over that grandfather, grandmother, over my auntie, my uncle. Prayer. Hallelujah. It is done. In his name. It is done. In his name. 